All right. The next topic of discussion is environment variables. Most of the applications you deploy to production would typically require environment variables. They allow you to specify different values based on the environment like development or testing or production. They also allow you to safeguard your secrets by not bundling them into the code that is shipped to the browser. Swellkit, being the awesome framework that it is, has built-in support for environment variables. Let's understand how to work with them in this video. To work with environment variables, we first need to create a new file in the project root folder. So within escape form actions, new file, and the file name is .env. This file is automatically git ignored. Within the file, we can define the environment variables as key value pairs. Let's take a look at an example where we need to connect to a database. So we can define db underscore user is equal to Vishwas and db underscore password is equal to password. Now that we have defined the two variables, we can access them in our code. For example, let's say in our news route, page.server.js file, we need to connect to the database in the load function. To connect to the database, we need the username and password. To access environment variables, we make use of another module in SvelteKit. At the top, import from $env slash static slash private. This module gives us direct access to our environment variables. db underscore user and db underscore password. They refer to the keys in .env file. Now that we have imported the variables, let's simply log them to the console and see if the values are populated. Connecting to database, with username dollar db underscore user and password dollar curly braces db underscore password. If you now save the file and head to localhost 5173 slash news, open the terminal, we should see the values being logged in the terminal. Connecting to database with username Vishwas and password, password. In this way, you can maintain your application secrets in a .env file. What you have to know though, is that by default, the two environment variables loaded are only available on the server. They will not be exposed to the browser. So in the contact folder, if I create a plus page.js file, with a universal load function, export const load, return an empty object, import the environment variables, and add the same log statement, head back to the browser, and navigate to slash contact, we see an error. If we take a look at the terminal, we can see internal server error cannot import $env static private into client side code. This is because Swellkit wants to ensure you are not accidentally exposing secrets in the browser. Now, if you do want to expose environment variables, you have to prefix the variable with public underscore. For example, let's say you need to have a base URL environment variable you would need to define public underscore base underscore URL. And this can be example.com. In the contact page.js file, let's remove the private environment variables and instead import public underscore base underscore URL, but this time from $env slash static slash public. Let's also log the value to the console. Base URL, 
public underscore base underscore URL. If we now save the file, we can see the value of the environment variable, example.com. In the browser console, the value can be seen. So to summarize, if you want to access an environment variable in the browser, public underscore prefix is mandatory, and you need to import from env slash static slash public module. If you only need the variable server side, for example, in a server load function or an API route, you can omit the prefix and import from the env static private module. What you should also know is that the environment variables imported from slash static are injected into the code at build time. If you want to work with runtime environment variables, whose value might change once the app is deployed, you should make use of the dynamic module. All you have to do is change slash static to slash dynamic while importing. This will inject platform-specific variables at runtime. Environment variables are typically used to set base URLs to API endpoints, secrets like API keys, or even environment-dependent keys like Google Analytics ID, for example. Hopefully, you now have an understanding of how to use them in SvelteKit. All right then, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.